This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. One football senior that won't get his senior season is Spencer Brown. The star offensive lineman is a preseason All-American, but as we talked about earlier in this week's show, he'll focus on preparing for the NFL draft and won't play the spring season. This summer, he put one last fingerprint on the UNI football program, and it was a big one. UNI Spencer Brown was on multiple preseason All-America lists. The three-year starter was preparing for a senior season that ranked this Panther football team in the top five of every national poll. But this huge offensive lineman wasn't always mentioned as the best at his craft. 6'9", 350 and runs a 4'8", sounds great. He was not born like that. He built himself into that through what we what, with working with Jed and Kane in the weight room. He looked more like a basketball player when you're six foot ten and 220 pounds. Probably not. People aren't pounding your, your door down to come play football. Um, but his work ethic and this kid's drive uh, is is really what made him. Um, just going day in and day out, just uh, putting 100 percent into it each and every day, and having people in my corner that supported me and. Uh, giving me words of advice, great coaches at UNI and friends and obviously my family support back home was always a good influence on me and then once I got here it kind of just took to fruition more than I did in high school. And I'm thankful for that and obviously thankful for Coach Fowler to take an opportunity on a kid like me and obviously again thankful for Jed and Kane in the weight room and developing a 225 pound kid to a 320 offensive lineman. So. His increase in size is a credit to the UNI weight room. It's where Spencer made his biggest improvements. Coming in, I think I was probably benching like maybe, maybe 250 on a good day. Um, just like taking the morals my parents taught me, my hometown taught me, and that's just that consistency and the discipline to go out each and every day. That discipline took Spencer from a 250 pound bench press max to chasing the UNI offensive lineman record. His discipline continued in a garage when COVID shut down UNI's weight room. It's Friday morning, and we were working out in our garage, as you see in the video, and things like that. And, there was always like big bench days leading up to the week and I was like, I, I never told anybody, I was like, I might get it, I might get it. And then that Friday, I just wanted to get the O-line record, which was 480. I got 480 and then I wanted to get 490, might as well try it. And then, well, we got 490, might as well try a 500. So it was just a, I'm getting kind of tired, but I might as well try it since I'm here because I won't get another chance for a while and then it just happened. Spencer's 500 pound bench press exploded on social media. NFL scouts turned even more attention towards this quick, strong offensive lineman. Thanks to the work and discipline he sharpened at UNI. I'd say 500 pounds came a goal probably a year and a half ago. I think last summer I was benching like 420 and I was pretty mad about that because I could do more. And then I had it on my wall, I had my goals on my wall and what I wanted to accomplish and I ended up accomplishing that feat. I think my goal was like 450 and then I got 500 and I met my squat goal and I was just short of my clean goal. So. Um, writing your goals down is, is what we're taught to do here, and um, I didn't do that until I got here, and it's obviously helped me accomplish those things. He's really in tune with what's going on. He's got his, his finger on the pulse of a team. He's got leadership ability. Uh, he's a fun-loving guy, but he gets very serious when need be, and those are things that are, I mean, you, you, you can't train that. I mean, he's developed that over time. Spencer is finishing his UNI degree online this semester while he trains for the NFL Draft in California. It'll be the start of a new chapter written by the chapters before. Um, we gotta get that diploma, obviously, and then um, start training there and hopefully fulfill a lifelong dream and uh, make a name for myself in the town of Lenox and then just uh, carry the University of Northern Iowa next to my name so everybody knows where I'm from as well. So 